Hi, I'm John Murdoch, pre-sales engineer at Balibit, and in this video, I'm going to give an overview of Balibit's latest release of Shell Control Box, version 5 LTS. If you are not familiar with the product, Balibit Shell Control Box, or SCB as it's more commonly known by ourselves and our clients, is a turnkey appliance that controls privileged access to remote IT systems, records activities in a searchable movie-like audit trail, and can also prevent malicious actions. It fills the huge needs organizations have to protect their sensitive information against cyber attacks and insider threats, whilst also meeting security and compliance regulations. With that short introduction out of the way, let's now look through the major enhancements coming with version 5 LTS. The first noticeable change to Shell Control Box is that user interface has been redesigned. A new color scheme and font usage have been chosen, enhancing readability and usability for the end user, as well as the new design giving the appliance interface a more modern look and feel. Integration capabilities have also been significantly enhanced, especially with the Authentication and Authorization plugin, or AA plugin for short. This feature gives the ability for Shell Control Box to interoperate with multi-factor authentication systems, ticketing systems, and credential and key management systems. Shell Control Box can therefore be closely integrated with any system that provides an open API, such as Lieberman's Red or Rapid Enterprise Defense, Thycotic Secret Server, and Opta's multi-factor authentication offerings. In addition, the archiving capabilities of Shell Control Box have been extended with respect to the long-term storage and searching of audit trail recordings. CIFS support has increased to include compatibility with NetApp appliances, as well as retaining NFS support for Unix and Unix-alike systems. Finally, there have been many changes to the way audit trails can be replayed since the last LTS release. In our feature releases, we produced an onboard audit trail playback feature that translates the network captures into a video that can then be viewed in the browser without any specialist client software. This feature now makes its LTS debut. Secondly, there is a new version of the offline audit player. Not only is it available for Windows, like the old version, but there is now a Linux client with also a Mac OS client in development. Advanced features of the old player, such as decryption, timestamping verification, and packet capture export, will be added over time to the offline player. So as a quick summary, here are the three key areas that have changed in 5LTS. That concludes this short overview of what's new in Shell Control Box 5LTS. If you wish to know more, please go to balibit.com for more information or contact us at sales at balibit.com.